Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for yacht Divna. Divna is a 2018 Dufour 460. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start your engine, ensure first that you are in neutral. You can check this by ensuring the gear lever is vertical and push in the neutral clutch button to check that you are in neutral. When you bring it back to vertical, the button will pop out and you know you are in neutral. Hold down the on off button to start the panel. You will hear an alarm sound. Hold down start for two seconds. Once the engine is running, check that you have water flowing out of the outtake. To turn the engine off, hold stop for two seconds. Once the engine has stopped, turn off the power to the panel by holding on off. To turn on your bow thrusters, hold both buttons at once for one second. When the light is on, your bow thrusters are active. To bow thrust a port, hold the port red button. To bow thrust a starboard, hold the green starboard button. Do not run the bow thruster for longer than five seconds at a time or you'll burn out your batteries. When finished, turn off the bow thruster by holding both buttons for one second. Now that the light is off, the bow thruster is disengaged. The autopilot controls are located on the starboard helm station. To engage autopilot, you press auto. This will hold your heading at the current bearing. To increase your bearing to starboard by 10 degrees, press plus 10 degrees. To increase it by one degree at a time, use plus one degrees. To decrease your bearing and turn to port, press minus 10. Or to do this by singular degrees, press minus one. To helm manually, press standby, and then you can take the helm. Your GPS unit is located at the starboard helm station. Select with touch screen whether you want your chart or other information. You can pan and zoom with touch screen with your fingers and to select data on the chart. Press home to access your dashboard or press home to access other combinations of charts. The manual bilge pump is located on the starboard helm station. To operate this, lift and then pump the panel in and out to pump water from the bilge. When raising your swim platform, ensure that the plank has been removed and there is no extra weight or objects on the swim platform. Use this button here, hold down on the up position. When raising, the steps will fold themselves between the edge of the platform as it comes up. Make sure to hold down for the entire process in one go. When lowering the platform, hold down on the switch and again hold for the entire process. Make sure you lower all the way so that the weight comes down onto the Dynex lines, not onto the line for the winch. The swim ladder is located in this aft section here. Take the swim ladder out and place into the swim platform. Return to here when you're finished. It also has a barbecue in her stern platform. Open up this cover here and then lift the top lid for the barbecue. Ensure your gas bottle is on. Push and hold and turn to on and then click the ignite to ignite the gas. Once it is running, you can release the gas and control your temperature by this. On this side we have the sink with water, hot and cold, also is the access for the gas. The LPG gas cylinders are here. To turn on the gas, rotate anti-clockwise. And to turn off, rotate clockwise. Your spare gas bottle is located in here, so if you need to change your bottle, turn this off, undo from the bottle and replace on the next bottle. Life raft is located underneath the cockpit step here. Also under here is the cockpit shower. To turn on the cockpit shower, twist. 
and you also twist to adjust hot to cold. Your extra equipment is located in the port and starboard lazarettes. In the port lazarette, you have the bucket, repair kit for the dinghy, your spear anchor and 50 meters of warp, spear lines including a 50 meter shoreline and 12 meter dock line, and a hose for refilling your water tanks. In your starboard lazarette, you have the fuel for the outboard engine, fire extinguisher, oars for the dinghy, pump for the dinghy, and the emergency tiller handle. To operate with your emergency tiller, undo this panel on the floor with the winch handle, remove the cover, take the emergency tiller, and put on top of the rudder post, find the position it slots in, then you can operate the tiller and the steering like this. At the helm you have a step for when healing and sailing. Lift these up and place the chock in place. You can stand on this when you're at the helm. When anchoring, you take this control from the forward locker. It has two controls on it, up and down. When anchoring, make sure your engine is in neutral and excited to 1500 to 2000 revs. This will help charge the battery as you are running the anchor windlass. When lowering the anchor, push slowly on down. You want to do this very slowly to make sure that you do not let the anchor swing and damage the bow of the boat. The anchor is marked with colours to increment 10 metre distances. There is 60 metres of chain on board. When bringing the anchor up, press the up button. If you feel the windlass strain or work too hard, stop and wait for the boat to get closer to the anchor. Again, when bringing the anchor up, do this last part very slowly to ensure the anchor does not swing and hit the boat. When finished, replace the anchor control into the hatch. Make sure to lock this hatch down tight so that you do not get water in when sailing. When you have finished anchoring, bring the lever back to vertical, the button will pop out and then you can engage in forward gear. Here we have the shore power cable and the water fill point for the aft tanks. To fill your forward water tanks, undo this fill point here with a winch handle and fill your fresh water from here. You have four other points on the deck for waste. Do not fill these with water. Make sure you read on the fill point to make sure you have the right one. This one on the forward port it says water, use this to fill your forward tank. It has two water tanks on board to change over from one to the other under this panel in the saloon. You have the water pump and the water tank switches here. In this position here, this is closed and this one is open. If you need to change tanks, open the second one and then close off the other. Your technician will check all of your sails before the check-in of your charter to make sure that there are no defects and they are all okay. If you would like to check your sails before heading out on your charter, pull them out with at least two people and check. If there are any defects, take photos with your mobile phone and report these to the office staff. <laughs>
main control panel is located here on the port side of the vessel by the navigation table. Under this Perspex class you have switches that control all of your systems on board the boat, such as your exterior lights and your sea pump for bilge pump, your deck light and your anchor windlass for anchoring. Here you have your navigation lights. Turn on this one for navigation at night, when sailing, for anchoring, and for steaming or under motor, turn on both navigation and steaming lights. Your water pump is turned on here, along with your bilge pump and the shower pump drains for pumping water out when you are showering. Fridge unit is turned on here. This is for your navigation equipment in the cockpit and your autopilot in the cockpit. Your saloon lights are managed by this button here and your cabin lights by this one. Here, use this switch to turn on the hi-fi stereo and the 12 volt DC outlets. This is where you check the level of your fuel tank, water tank and battery voltage. To test whichever you want to test, push across on that gauge and wait for the needle to show its level. Your VHF radio is located here above the control panel. To turn this on, hold down the power button here. Once the VHF starts up, change your channel with this selection here. Channel 16 is the International Distress and Calling Channel. Artsy Marinas and most port authorities around Croatia are on channel 17. Adjust your volume here or press to adjust the sensitivity of the radio. Inside your nav table, you have the navigation equipment, rulers, pens, pencils and dividers, compass. You have the Croatian cruising guides and light lists for the area. And over here you have your chart packs for the cruising grounds that you are in. In this locker here, you also have your binoculars, pilot books, spares for the engine, a spare winch handle, and a flashlight. In this locker here, you have your power inverter, hand bearing compass, manuals, and documentation for the yacht. The main breaker for the shore power is behind this cushion here and located in this section here. This is the main switch for the shore power and then these are the separate breakers for the cabin lights, battery charger and water heating. The main breaker for the anchor windlass is located here underneath the chart table. If the anchor windlass is not working, check this fuse and if the yellow is popped out at the bottom, put it back into position and then test the anchor windlass. Inside the engine bay, the emergency stop for the engine is located here. Push across and hold until the engine stops. The emergency diesel shutoff valve is located here under the aft starboard bunk. Lift up the mattress and then this panel here. Slide across this panel and here is your valve. When it is in line like this, it is open. When it is at 90 degrees to the pipe, it is closed. Shut off this in an emergency to close the fuel to the engine. The main engine and service battery switches are located here on the port side of the companionway steps. When these switches are vertical like this, they are on, and when they are lateral like this, they are off. Ezra has two fridge drawers. The bottom is the cooler. And the top one has the temperature control mounted underneath here where you can control the temperature. We suggest setting this to medium in the middle so that you save on power. The inline gas shutoff valve is here underneath the oven in this cupboard. When it is in this position here, it is off 90 degrees to the line. When it is in this position here, it is on, in line with the line. Turn this off when you're finished cooking, then turn the gas off at the bottom. The safety equipment is located underneath this cushion here in the storage seat. Here we have day shapes for motor sailing and anchoring, survival thermal blankets, your flares and distress signals, cable ties, 
sea anchor drogue, the axe for emergencies, the bosun's chair, foghorn, toolkit, and first aid kit. We have two fire extinguishers on the boat. One fire extinguisher is located here underneath the saloon seat. Divna has four bathrooms or heads on board. Each of these bathrooms has an electric pump toilet, an automatic shower drain, meaning that as soon as the water comes into the drain, it will engage automatically as long as the switch is on at the control panel. Each of these bathrooms has its own blackwater holding tank. The blackwater holding tank valve for the aft port head is located here. In this position it is open, in this position it is closed. In the aft starboard head, the valve is located right here. In this position it is open, and in this position it is closed. For the two forward cabins, both valves are located in the hallway entrance here. Lift this panel for the starboard side. In this position the holding tank valve is open, and in this position it is closed. For the port side, the valve is located here. In this position it is open, and in this position it is closed. Be sure to close all of your holding tank valves when you are in a bay or close to shore and other boats. Empty your black tanks when you are offshore and away from other vessels. To operate the electric pump toilets, you have electric controls here and here. This button is used to pump water in and pump waste out at the same time. This button here is used just to remove water or waste. This button here is to bring water into the bowl. And this button here is used just to remove water or waste from the bowl. When you're going sailing, best to remove all of the water from the bowl so to avoid spills. Before going to the toilet, make sure there is some water in the bowl to start with. Check that your holding tank valve is either open or closed depending on your position. And then, after you've gone to the toilet, remove the waste and flush by holding down this button for 8 to 10 seconds. You need to hold it down for 8 to 10 seconds so that it can remove the waste, pump it up through the lines and then down into the holding tank. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Use the bins provided for sanitary products and toilet paper, then remove the waste once you're on shore. Thank you for watching this video check-in for the 2018 Dufour 460 Devna. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.